Sir Arthur Dane is seen with Sir Gerald Hightower, the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard under King Ares II Targaryen, in a vision when Bran Stark sees into the past with the aid of the Three-Eyed Raven. Near the end of Robert's Rebellion, Sir Arthur and Sir Gerald were stationed to guard the Tower of Joy by Prince Rhaegar Targaryen himself. When Lord Eddard Stark of Winterfell arrives with his bannermen, including Lord Howland Reed, in order to rescue the captive Lyanna Stark, Sir Arthur and Sir Gerald Hightower prevent the Northmen from entering the tower, peacefully. Sir Arthur is shown to be cordial to Eddard, but refuses to tell him why exactly the now deceased Rhaegar wanted them to remain there or the whereabouts of Eddard's sister. Knowing there is no alternative, Sir Arthur and Sir Gerald fight the Northmen to hold the tower. Gerald is quickly killed by Lord Eddard in the melee, but Sir Arthur easily holds his own against the Northmen, cutting down most of them with his two swords, leaving just him and Eddard. As Bran watches them duel, he observes that Dane is a better swordsman than his father. The three-eyed raven corrects him. Far better. Dane eventually disarms Eddard but as he moves to strike him down, Howland Reed, who had been wounded earlier in the battle, sneaks up behind Dane and stabs him in the back of the neck. Sir Arthur is mortally wounded by the attack and falls to his knees, holding on to his sword for a few seconds before dropping it as his strength fades. The two look at each other as Eddard picks up Dawn, seeming ashamed of how he had survived. Although in agony, Arthur seems accepting of his fate. He had done his duty to the last. Eddard delivers the final blow, killing the legendary Sword of the Morning and sparing him from a slower, crueler death. After killing Dane, Eddard runs up into the tower where he finds Lyanna, dying after giving birth to Rhaegar's last living son, whom Eddard would pass off as his bastard son, Jon Snow.